Hey guys, in this video I'll be reviewing the Xiaomi Redmi Note Prime. So firstly I'll be talking about the display. This phone has a 5.5 inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 720 at a pixel density of 267 ppi and this is not a bad display to start with but it's definitely not the best 720p display that I've seen. That's not to say that this phone has a terrible display, it's decent, the viewing angles are good but there are some other phones that have a better display at an even lower price point. So that's the point that I'm trying to make. When it comes to processor, this phone has a 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 quad-core processor coupled with Adreno 306 GPU. And if you're looking for benchmarks, I've done a separate video covering benchmarks and I'll leave a link in this video's description. So make sure you watch that after watching this video. And in terms of gaming performance, you can expect this phone to perform most games well, although if you're trying to play graphically intensive games, this phone suffers. I've played Nova 3 which is fairly graphically intensive and I've seen occasional frame drops. So if you are the kind of person who plays games that are graphically intensive, keep in mind that this phone might struggle. And if you notice, the speakers are placed on the back. That's the usual placement for all the Xiaomi devices. And I personally don't like speakers on the back. They do sound good. I mean, it does get pretty loud, but I personally don't prefer speakers on the back. So this phone is running MIUI 7, which is not really an issue, but it is running Android KitKat right out of the box, which is a shame, really. It shouldn't be running Android KitKat it should at least be running Android Lollipop so but that's not the case which is quite disappointing to be honest the Redmi Note Prime has a 13 megapixel ray facing camera and these are some of the images that I took I've noticed that the colors look washed out and I personally felt that the camera could have been better so if you notice could have been better is the theme of this review because Xiaomi has pretty much compromised in most departments with this phone. Usually in the case of Xiaomi phones they are known for making phones that are value for money. Although this phone is affordable that doesn't mean that it's value for your money. And I never thought that I would be saying this but Xiaomi has made a phone that's not value for your money which is quite surprising so there you have it that's all for the review guys I hope you found this video helpful if you did please make sure to hit the like button and also share this video it will be very helpful and make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter links will be in this video's description and in case you think I've missed something and if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer them and definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos like this. And as always, thanks a lot for watching.